Oh look, hi. One forty nine. We've hit the jackpot. Well, today we are in Frederick, Maryland, and we are sitting outside of the Monocacy Boulevard Goodwill. Uh, this is always a hit or miss Goodwill. Either we hit or we miss. There's never really any in between. Uh, but we're gonna head in here. We're gonna see what we can find, buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. I'm slightly distracted by this cookie jar over here. What is happening with that? Is that an original? What is happening? Cookie time. Looks like a reproduction. I think there's like a vintage one of these that can be worth quite a bit of money, but I don't think that's it. Okay, well we're starting out in vases today. We're gonna see what we can find. But well, that's interesting, somebody decided to tie some string around that. I like the glaze on that one. $3.49. They didn't sign it though. They didn't like it enough to claim it as their own. <laughs> we're gonna leave it. Um, I saw these last week when I was here. It's a cranberry bottle. Okay. Nothing is really speaking to me. I do kind of like the made in Italy, Chicago. I don't know what that says actually. Maybe it says made in USA. That would make the most sense. What is that? Oh, it's just like a little thingamabob. <laughs> it's the technical term for that. Figurines. I don't remember there ever being baggies on this end cap, so it's definitely interesting. Um, let's see. Anything in the clear? I don't really see anything that's super shiny. This is where I found the Swarovski the one time. Um, so I always peek. I doubt that'll ever happen again. Oh, there's a cute little pink bunny. <laughs> it is really cute. Made in China. I feel like he was supposed to have friends though. Maybe. He also has like a little toupee. Did you notice that? Okay. He's got like a little toupee on. Um, is that a target bird? I can't tell. I know that Walmart does uh, look like target birds. I can't tell the difference. We might have to Google image search that at some point. We'll find out for ourselves. Oh my gosh, everything's shifting. Okay. <laughs> it was cute, but I don't know. It's not cute enough. Lots of bears and other things. Oh look, hi. <laughs> 49 we've hit the jackpot i'm just kidding but i mean there's value there for sure grab the two little blue birds of happiness for sure um, and then i was noticing this uh talavera but he has a broken tail that is a shame i hate when that happens um, she's really pretty she's got broken flowers though Bummer. That looks like it was supposed to be a lamp. And what do we have here? Stone art. It's exactly what it is. Somebody labeled it for us. Um, <laughs> it's weird, but I do kind of like this thing, whatever this is. It's like speaking to me a little bit, but not loud enough. I think I looked at this last week. And I left it last week, just like I'm doing right now. Okay, well, um, let's go check out some bags. Oh, wait, what's the deal with this pair? It's a weird material. I don't really like it. Looks like our clown friend is still here from last week. A little art pottery. Oh, there's a restaurant where gravy boats. Or something. I don't know, it might just be a monogram to somebody's name. Um, let's see what's down this 
this way. This is where I found the uh, fused glass last week. That was kind of exciting. Ooh, what is this? $3.49. It looks like strawberries. It is signed on the bottom. Haze. Hmm. Is there any chips? I don't see any. kind of like that. Haze. Okay, we'll pick that up. It's good for, um, good for the season. Grab some haze pottery. It's an interesting bag. We have Barlow made in USA. We have a cat box. Four paperweights. And this uh, Black Forest looking clock. Hmm, let's move this one out of the way. You go over here. And this is how they get broken. <laughs> People like me. Oh, you know what? It's just broken there. That's why. That's why it didn't stick. We're just gonna spear it. And we're gonna grab this. Um, that is made in Austria. I wonder if that's Tiffany and Company. It's kind of what it looks like. Is that what it says? Tiffany and Co. Made in Austria. I don't know. I like this baggie. I think we'll take a chance on that. For six dollars and forty-nine cents. Somebody broke into that bag. A few candle holders in there that look kind of fun. They're made of resin. Party streamers. Oh, look at all these Easter eggs. Lots of Easter stuff. Those are very cute. Oh, I see a bird. That's a pie bird. Is that a photograph pie bird? It's already open. I'm just reaching him to look. It is full scrap. You know, I just looked these up the other day. Some of them sell for stupid money. You remember I found one at the other Goodwill? That's why I was looking them up, and I was like surprised and uh, how people collect those things. I think I might just pay the full price and then redonate the rest of it back. Some more Easter eggs in there. Alright. Um, I think I'm satisfied. Silver plated pierced bell. Alright. I think we're good. Got a few cool things. It's kind of a neat lamp. What's that? It's a pottery lamp. Let's look at the bottom. Oh, there's no markings on that. Definitely pottery. I kind of like it, but also, you guys know, you don't really need any more lamps. Somebody else will enjoy it. That's kind of neat. It's missing a glass though. And possibly a decanter. All right, well our total spend here at Monocacy Boulevard was $30. Uh, finding those two little bluebirds of happiness, that was pretty exciting. Um, I found that the prices on those could be all over the place. Um, it just depends on the venue in which you are selling them. Um, but yeah, that was very exciting, right off the bat. Uh, from here, we're gonna go to the um, Walkersville Goodwill, and I'm gonna take you guys with me. So let's go check it out, here we go. Alright, so you guys may remember this is like the concert of Goodwills, so you're all going to be treated to some great music. I'm going to talk loud and I'm going to talk fast, and I'm going to do my best not to get a copyright strike. <laughs> so, let's see what we can find. Here we go. There's a cool vase. That's an art pottery vase. <laughs> I have to like start resisting the art pottery. Um, I see a cool mushroom over there. Looks like something you would stick in the garden. And then down here we have some brushed gold, but it does have a chip on it. So we're not going to mess with that. He's kind of fun. <laughs> he looks like um, a caddy of some sort, but he's got a chip there on his foot. There are the candle holders that go with that uh, console bowl. They look to be in good condition, so maybe I'll still grab the candle holders. 
It's kind of a shame to split up the set, but with the tripping on the big bowl, I don't think it's worth grabbing the whole set. And then I'm going to bring you guys over here. I know I just said I need to resist the art pottery, but look at the cool glaze on that. <laughs> as, in, as a matter of fact, I think it might be the same artist. Do I need to grab it all? Maybe I do. And maybe I'll think about it. Hmm. That looks interesting. It kind of looks like... Is that Martinsville? Please be advised. I don't know. I've never been very good at identifying uh, Martinsville before. You guys actually told me the last piece I had was, in fact, Martinsville. Um, alright. Let's turn the corner and see what we can find. Oh, wait. Is that a... A cabana? It does look like a cabana. Alright, I'm gonna check over the mugs real quick. Um, so far we have a few candle holders and that's about it. I'm not really seeing a whole lot in the mugs. I'm kinda picky about my mugs. Fate and John, Marilyn probably a souvenir. Alright. Um, I was noticing there's a piece of chintz. That is Royal Crown Avon Chintz. I kind of like the pattern on that. It reminds me of uh, Mexican pottery, but it's not, obviously. <laughs> what else do we have down here? These are nice. I don't really feel like digging them out. Um, the one thing I noticed on the other side, I think I'm going to go try and grab it. Almost looks like Texas wear. Let's go investigate. Is it? Let's look. It is Texas Wear. It's a Texas Wear bowl for $2.50. I think we'll take that. And then these are really cute. Server store. <laughs> what in the world are these things? These are fun. Double. Are those like little scratch pads? I think they might be. And they're like little doodles. Is that what they are? I can't tell. I think they are. I kind of like those. Oh, they're like little uh, score keeping pads with cute little graphics on them. Oh my gosh, those are our darling. We're going to grab them. <laughs> what is that thing? That's interesting. It's a serving spoon, but it's very decorative. It almost looks like thistle. Is that what that is? I don't know. Like, Ooh, what is this? It's an owl. I like that owl. He's very sweet looking. Does he have a marking? I don't see one. So what do we have in this bag? We have a crazy looking bird creature that is intact. Ooh, this is a good one. Yes, okay, great. We have Wade Winsies. Oh no, he's got a broken ear. You know what? I think we can make do. We've got zombie owl that just needs some googly eyes well grab it i'm collecting candles for my outdoor candelabra why not get smelly candles i'm not allowed to use smelly candles anymore in my house because of my birds so i'm just gonna use them outside i don't really see anything else that's worth grabbing Oh, I missed that. Um, it's made in China, but it is a poisoné little um, trinket box, and I really like the pattern on that. So, for three dollars and forty-nine cents, I'll snatch that up. All right. Well, I've got a little creamer here that I'm gonna take with me. Um, it is made in Japan. It's just a cute little. Oh, I don't know. Is that actually? I don't think it's a crack. I think it's just crazy. So we're gonna stick that in there. Um, I figured I'd check the candles one final time just to make sure we didn't miss anything. Got some cool candle holders down there. But um, I think that's it for us. I think we're going to get out of here. And I guess I'll get back to you guys in the car with a total. Ooh, I like that. That's kind of fun blown glass. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> he's cute, Scotty. <laughs> All right, so I'm checking this out. I was thinking it might be nice to have a piece of this for the floral train on knickknacks. Um, but I just, <laughs> it's always chipped, but I don't actually see any chipping on this. So I think I'm going to grab it. I think we will grab it. It's $3.49. All right. Well, on that note, I'm going to head up towards the checkout. All right. Well, 
we had pretty decent luck at Walkersville. We didn't find anything amazing, but we found a few cool things. Um, we really cleaned up in the candle holder vessel department. Um, but anyway, I have moved on now, and I am at the next Goodwill. But you guys are going to have to wait for this video, um, and I will see all of you tomorrow. All right, well, today is Monday. It is the day after our big weekend on knickknacks. It was a very exciting weekend. It was crazy. It was so overwhelming in a good way. Um, we had an amazing lineup of sellers and um, the community of knickknacks just really came out for it. Um, it was amazing to see our sellers supporting one another, um, our buyers supporting our sellers. Um, everybody was so encouraging and so supportive and um, that's that's the vibe that's the vibe that I really want for the marketplace and I just hope that that continues to build and grow and and remain positive um, and and that that is knickknacks that is what I want for it we're already getting ready for next month's event and I will be announcing that on my coffee chat on Tuesday so stay tuned for that um, but enough about knickknacks I know I love I love to talk about it because I'm very passionate about it um, but I know not everybody likes to hear me blabber on about knickknacks um, so anyway um, our goal today, we are at the shop. As you can see, we are at the shop. Um, my goal for today is to start preparing for our move to the new location. Um, there was some confusion when I mentioned that we are moving. Um, the new space is 1,300 square feet. Our, our current space is 3,500 square feet. We are not moving our entire business into the new space. First of all, it's not physically possible. Um, second, second of all, it's just not our plan. Um, the plan is to move our e-commerce business. So a lot of people are like, well, what's e-commerce? Um, e-commerce is our online business. It's a fancy way to say online business. So that includes um, all of our, our live sale inventory, um, all of our, our regular listed online inventory, um, our coffee, uh, our shipping, our shipping, because obviously we need shipping to move all that stuff out. Um, so those components of our business are moving out of this location. Um, once we have those components out of here, we'll have more space. Um, and then our goal is to start working towards changing this into a store. <laughs> I had brought up in the past uh, concerned about the parking, but after talking with some people who are local um, and have local businesses, I've opened up my mind to the idea that having a downtown business um, with not a parking lot, but on street parking is not the most horrible thing in the world because we get foot traffic um, and that could be a very positive thing. So I've accepted this. <laughs> I've accepted this and um, we're gonna make it work. So, um, all of that being said, um, we have a, a set of steps that we need to accomplish in order to accomplish the move. <laughs> and one of those is to get this back room um, cleared out because Andrew is going to be moving his stuff back here. He's going to keep his business here at the shop. Um, so. I have to start working at clearing this space over behind the camera. <laughs> um, and that's what we're gonna work on today. So, um, I know you guys can't really handle my process. I process things a little bit different than most people. Um, I have a very um, scattered brain, but I, I have an end goal in mind and I will get there. I might not get there the way you would get there, but I will get there. Um, so bear with me. <laughs> if this video drives you nuts, you can skip to tomorrow's video, but we're gonna hang out today. We're gonna get some stuff accomplished. We may go off on a tangent and end up accomplishing something else. I don't know, but um, I, I have a goal in mind. So let's see what we can get done. Okay, so here it is. It's not that crazy. <laughs> it's not that crazy. Um, this is all stuff that was taking off of our eBay shelves that should have been listed because it was on the listed shelves technically but then it wasn't listed anymore so um, needs listed so i've been picking things off of this cart little by little a few times every time i come in the shop i pick a few items off and i list them um so i think 
I originally had four cards, and now I really just have one, which is kind of crazy. Um, there, that's knickknack stuff. So, yeah, I'm making progress. It feels good to make progress on it. Those boxes back there are all Andrews, <laughs> so I can just leave those behind. I don't really need to do anything with those. Um, the books on the shelves, mostly Andrews. Some of them are mine, um, they're reference books. I feel like we could probably um, take those with us. I have a few bookshelves out front um, that we could probably take with us and bring along some of those reference books. Um, and then he can have more shelf space. It's unfortunate that a few of those um, shelves did collapse and we got some broken glass over there. Um, <laughs> I had to climb up there the other day, up into the attic and shut it off um, because it was open and all of our heat was going out the second floor. I would love to bring this over to the shop. I'm not sure if that's something we could utilize. We were talking about maybe having a coffee bar. I've always loved this piece of furniture. Andrew hates it. <laughs> I just love how like bright and red and colorful it is. So that might be able to just go out. So really, um, I feel like what I'm dealing with is over here, whatever we have right here, that's um, a footstool to a couch we have in our sun porch. We have, it came with two and one is just enough. We don't really need two. Well, maybe come up with an idea for that. And then over here on these shelves. Um, obviously, I need to figure that out. This is all stuff for our next uh, challenge, which I think is going to be April 13th. I think I have that scheduled. All right. Well, as suspected, expected, um, I got sidetracked, but... I got something else accomplished. I got all of these mugs listed on knickknacks, including this canister, which I was really excited about because they've kind of been on my shelves for a while, mostly because I like them so much. Sometimes when I like something too much, it sits for a minute. <laughs> but finally I was like, you know what? Somebody else would probably like that too much as well. So I listed them all. They're gone, they're going away. Um, those are gonna move on out. And then that's less stuff I have to move. I also listed a few things off of this shelf. Like two things. So I'm going to continue to list stuff off this shelf. I'm thinking this sugar and that creamer. All right. Well, I just got down into this box. Kind of. I have to take the lid off. Ta-da. Some fancy stuff in here. This was stuff that we had over at our booth at Antiques Marketplace of Lemoyne, it looks like. At least that piece was. A nice tray. I feel like this stuff um, can probably go on knickknacks. It looks like it says Panda. <laughs> I believe this is a perfume missing a stopper. Either that or it is a. Um, is that Correa, actually? Wait a second. No, I'm pretty certain that says Panda. I don't know. I'll investigate that. Um, let's see. Gosh, trays like this are such a pain to ship. And that's why I have these in the booth. But at even $12 each, they just hung around. These would have been really great for the floral train. <laughs> What is this one? Oh, from Bonnie Scotland. All right, maybe I'll snap some photos of these and get them listed um, on knickknacks. That's one more box taken care of. That looks fancy. All right, well, we had to call in reinforcements. Fresh from basketball. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, I think Ashton's going to give us a hand. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift some of this onto the shelves um, so that it's a project for another day to be listed. But at least then it gets us up off the floor and gives us a little space. Makes us feel like we accomplished something today. We emptied a banana box. <laughs> A little bit dusty, it's all right. Yeah, we couldn't get the golf Whoa. tea thing to work. Um, so I think I'm gonna call it quits for today. And it's good. Um, I got a lot accomplished, I know it doesn't seem that way, but I got a ton listed on knickknacks. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Um, even though I didn't make a huge dent in picking up back here, I got stuff listed and that's one more step towards going towards the door. Um, I did empty these two boxes over here. Um, those are empty. Cleared off some table here. Um, like I said earlier, this stuff is going away. That's going to be um, the family challenge. So that card will be usable soon. Um, the red thing I think is going over to the new shop. And uh, here's a look at the shelves. So a lot of the stuff that was on this shelf, I took photos of. I'm going to get listed. My cat. Your cat. Are you ready for the family challenge? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who's going to win? <laughs> so here are the items. Um, I finally got this thing photographed and ready to go up. The listing down is a buy it now. Um, this, which is totally off season, but it's cool, whatever. This Nike check mark looking Murano. Little uh, rose medallion. And then my, one of my goals, even before we move, is to at least delegate one spot on this shelf for items that I currently have listed on knickknacks ready for auction. Um, so that way I can just load them into my upcoming sales as I go and not have to be listing stuff every single time I have a sale. So um, I think we're in good shape. I hope you guys can hang out with me on Tuesday for morning coffee chat over on knickknacks.net. Um, we're going to be hanging out. And like I said, you don't have to be on knickknacks to enjoy the coffee chat. You can watch from YouTube or Facebook, um, usually multicasting. And I can read your comments. Um, so when you comment on Facebook or you comment on YouTube, I can see your comments. Um, so if you have questions about knickknacks, um, about selling buying bring your questions um, because that is your opportunity to, um, to ask questions uh, also i will be announcing the upcoming theme for our next train we also have a lot of really great trains happening and uh yeah so i'm excited for it and i uh, will discuss all that on tuesday but i'm gonna get ashton out of here i have pulled pork in the crock pot at home and i know he's looking forward to that but um i guess i will see all of you guys tomorrow so long.